In Belarus, aviation has been used for the first time to shoot down a Russian Shahed drone. The drone once again entered Belarusian airspace during a Russian attack on Ukraine, according to the monitoring group Belaruski Hayun. On August the 29th, during yet another Russian attack on Ukraine, one of the Shaheds once again flew into Belarusian territory in the Yelsk district, the report said. According to the monitoring group, after the Shahed entered Belarusian airspace, a fighter jet of the Belarusian Air Force chased the intruder for about 20 minutes and in the Yelsk district of the Gomel region, at least two explosions were heard and a bright flash was observed in the sky. This is likely the first recorded instance where a Belarusian Air Force fighter attempted to destroy an actual military target in the sky, a Russian Shahed kamikaze drone, the report added. Russian forces continue to attack Ukraine using both drones and missiles. Recently, it has become more common for Russian Shaheds to enter Belarusian territory during strikes on Ukraine. The first such incident occurred on July the 12th, followed by similar cases on July the 13th, 16th and 31st. According to previous calculations by Belaruski Hayun, at least nine Shaheds entered Belarus in July. Until now, Belarusian forces had only scrambled their jets in response but had not used them. An increased number of Russian troops have been stationed in Belarus, which is considered Russia's closest ally since Lukashenko asked Russia for military assistance following the outbreak of protests after the August 2020 presidential elections, which Lukashenko is widely believed to have stolen. Recently, Alexander Lukashenko announced that the country had moved around a third of its forces to the border with Ukraine, but Lukashenko blamed Ukraine for the sharp escalation in tensions. He accused Ukraine of aggressive policies and of sending more than 120,000 soldiers to its border with Belarus on August the 18th. The next day, Belarus announced that it sent aircraft, air defense forces and armory to the Ukraine border. Defense Minister Viktor Krenin said Belarus was ready for retaliatory action if Ukrainian soldiers entered its territory. But Ukraine has rejected the Belarusian allegations. It denied Lukashenko's claim that Kyiv had sent 120,000 soldiers to the border. Ukrainian foreign minister said it has never taken and is not going to take any unfriendly actions against the Belarusian people. Охренеть! Кто-то орет быстро, быстро спит. Охренеть! Ё-моё! А вот это там взрывы. Так это находится в глубочке или ближе? Ема, там просто! Смотри вверх, там грибки! Я просто жук Пете светят. Пипец! Очень печально все взорвалось, что-то горит, горит знатно, причем... Ема, там просто... Смотри вверх, там грибки. Я просто жук Пипец.